young girl found adrift at sea. Decades later, she reveals horrifying truth. Imagine chartering a yacht to take you and your family on the vacation of a lifetime from Florida to the Bahamas. Sounds like paradise, right? Well, for Arthur and Jean Duperalt and their three children, it was supposed to be the perfect getaway. Unfortunately, one fateful night in 1961 would change their lives forever. A well-known eye doctor in the great state of Wisconsin, Arthur Duperalt had pinched pennies for months so he could take his family on the trip of their dreams. After securing the funds, he and his wife hired a 60-foot yacht so they could cruise around the Caribbean in style. Sounds like a good time to us. There were seven passengers total on the yacht for the week, which included Arthur and John's three children, the captain, a war hero named Julian Harvey, and his wife. Everyone was excited for what was sure to be a trip to remember. Unfortunately, what was supposed to be a week in paradise turned into a trip of absolute terror when Captain Harvey went on a killing spree murdering everyone on the yacht except for Terry Joe Duperalt. A young girl of 11, Terry would be forced to watch while her mother and father, along with her two siblings, be murdered by a man gone mad. The story was one of the most horrific and noteworthy when it hit the news in 1961. After 49 years of silence, Terry Duperalt finally chose to write a book about her terrifying experience on the yacht. The novel was titled Alone, Orphaned on the Ocean and went into detail about Ter's experience with her entire family being murdered. According to Ter, she believes she was spared for a reason and hopes her story will help others who've gone through serious trauma. According to Ter, the voyage of horror was triggered by Captain Harvey's financial difficulties. Therefore, he took out an insurance policy on his wife Mary and had hoped to kill and dispose of her without anyone else knowing. However, Mary had other plans and put up a major fight, telling Ter's parents about the situation. Ter theorizes that this caused Harvey to panic and began to kill anyone who crossed his path. Ter described that she never witnessed the actual death of her parents and brother or sister, but she did see their bodies. That night, Ter had slept in a different cabin and heard screaming and feet stomping. Ter said she woke up and went outstairs to investigate the commotion and found her mother and brother's bodies drenched in blood. It was then the captain shoved her down onto the deck. Captain Harvey had opened the sea valves and was preparing to escape on the dinghy attached to the yacht. According to Ter, he asked her to hold the line to the dinghy while he went to get something. When he returned, he tried to lunge at her with a knife, but Ter let go of the rope, which sent the maniacal captain drifting away. Ter believes Harvey had a moment of clarity, realizing she could survive and decided he needed to kill her quickly. The next morning, Captain Harvey was rescued and concocted a wild story of a mass fire on the yacht, which caused it to sink, taking the lives of all on board. While there were suspicions regarding the validity of his story, there was no evidence to state otherwise. Harvey would remain a free man for four days until everything changed. While Captain Harvey had expected young Ter to die, she actually survived thanks to her resourcefulness. With no water or food and the hot sun bearing down, Ter remained calm throughout the whole ordeal. I was never frightened. I was an outdoors child and I loved the water, she admitted. I had strong faith. I believed in God and prayed for him to help me and I just went with the flow. On her fourth tray adrift at sea, a Greek freighter spotted a little Terry in a raft and rescued her. Before she lost consciousness, she was able to tell the captain who she was and was rushed to a nearby Miami hospital. Due to the severity of the sun, Terry was running a 105 degree fever and had third degree burns all over her body. After the news reached Captain Harvey that Terry had survived, he immediately committed suicide. Terry would end up adopted by relatives and was told not to speak to anyone regarding the events. Everybody was told not to speak to me about it, so I never was able to talk about it. It was always in my mind. I did see a psychiatrist, but he didn't really get to the meat of what was my problem, and that was the loss of my family. Growing up with the death of her family constantly on her mind would be rough for Ter. She'd go through four failed marriages and still experiences flashbacks to that horrible night, but she also has been able to maintain her optimism. As Ter looks back at all she's endured, we have to admit, we think her story would make one incredible movie. Where's Ron Howard when you need him? This story has Oscar written all over it. What do you think? Would you watch it?